Fracking isn't safe anywhere, but it's especially not safe here. We're very concerned about the vulnerability to our water supply and fracking only accelerates the risk. When you're using chemicals that can contaminate the water supply, that's a threat to our very lives. Fracking is a process of uh, extracting oil and natural gas from deep underneath the ground. Uh, it involves a mixture of water, sand, and a cocktail of hundreds of chemicals injected into the ground to break rock that's trapping oil or natural gas. Florida is a unique ecosystem. We don't have granite substrate. We have a porous limestone basin underneath our water flow. And it's very vulnerable to the kinds of dramatic and violent intrusion that fracking causes. A big threat is climate change and sea level rise. Uh, and coastal communities like Miami are at a great risk of sea level rise. There has been fracking activity already in Florida, and we understand that there are many permits pending. Right now, there is no ban on fracking. We're hoping that Florida will ban it in the upcoming legislative uh, season. to me is in their regulations and the things that they bring in is a further encroachment and an attempt to erode you know, our indigenous culture and attempt to make us like everybody else and we're not. And we celebrate that we're, we're different like, as all cultures should celebrate that they're different. We're seeing what climate change is doing to our weather, what sea level rise is doing to Miami, so that we're now at a, I would say, international tipping point, and that everyone needs to do their part and realize that stopping new oil drilling is really a human rights issue and you need to get out there, you know, and do something. It really helps having the media attention um, because then it gen generates that sort of critical tension to forced negotiation. It's the heart of nonviolent direct action. And so what we really did was textbook Martin Luther King, um, nonviolent direct action. We were inviting all the players to do the right thing and step back from this oil well, not drill it, and also step back from the Collier Hogan well, not drill that or frack that either. People are waking up, people want clean energy, clean sustainable energy, and if the oil and gas industry doesn't wake up soon to the clean energy revolution, they're going to go out of business because people want sustainable energy that's not going to poison somebody's drinking water or contribute to climate change. If I had to say one thing to Floridians about fracking, it would be that we live in one of the most amazing places in the world. We have some of the most beautiful beaches in the world and ecological treasures like Big Cypress National Preserve and the Everglades, and we have to fight to protect it. So educate your family, your friends, your neighbors, your coworkers, share this video with them and show them how damaging fracking is. And then go to your local city council, your county commission, and ban fracking locally, and send that strong message to your state legislators that we're not gonna frack here in Florida.